What's up guys? I have a lot of people ask me about mods that I've done to my car, just on random questions, so I figured that I would make one big video to just recap everything I've done to this car. To me, this is kind of like a before video. Even though I've had this car for almost three years now, I've gotten the mod bug recently and I really want to start doing more to this car. So yeah, this is kind of just a before and maybe six months or a year from now I'll have a, a complete project even though it's almost never complete. So I guess I'll start off with the front end. I have yellow Laminix fog overlays just from eBay. Um, they were like five bucks. So just kind of gives it a different look. Down here I have the Next Mod Garage Vary replica lip which I was super, super, super stoked to find. I actually found it on eBay because Next Mod kind of went MIA. So, found this on eBay, hopped on it, got it painted, and I'm super happy with it. It really kind of makes the front end look really like a little bit more aggressive. And I don't know, it makes it a little bit lower too. So, that, you know, that's never a bad thing. I also, like, I got into a small little accident. So, right here, I had a big dent, and this covered it up. And then that's why this is, you know, chipped up and stuff. So I need to get that fixed. And then this, this is the Password JDM bumper quick release uh, that doesn't have a quick release on it because it broke off. So I need to replace that. These stock bumpers are terrible. I don't know what it is with Mazda, but my friend has a first gen Speed 3.2 and has the same exact problem. Um, other than that, up front that's about it so for wheels i have 18 by 8 plus 30 mb battles that are they're decent i don't know the specs are kind of weak i'm definitely looking to get something more aggressive than this um i got these in a trade i used to have strs which were like lm reps but they were eight and a half in the front nine and a half in the rear and i didn't really like the staggered i like the way it looked but it i could definitely feel a lot more understeer so i ended up wanting to get something square with a little bit of a less aggressive fitment but i've changed my mind again so i think i'm gonna go a completely different route like really 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 beefy tires and just you know really try and get like something crazy like maybe 265s to get it to fit like i don't know something totally outlandish but that's just that's just how i am i'm kind of over the whole stance hella flush thing because i daily drive this car and that was when it was low like that i busted two oil pans and i was just kind of over it i drive this car you know long distances it's just not worth it so something that has a really aggressive look and still you know can go distances is something that i'm going for for suspension i have i don't even want to hear it i have racing coilovers I've had them for two years now. I don't track my car, it's just a daily driver. I don't even know if you can see them up in there. But they are a lot better than people make them out to be. They drive fine, you know, I, I don't have any complaints, you know, for a coilover. It handles better than stock. So for $400, I don't know, I don't see what the problem is. Like they're not track coilovers. If you're gonna track your car, then don't get these coilovers. But if it's just a daily driver that you wanna lower, then it definitely beats out springs in my opinion i do want to get bcs i was going to bag my car but like i said i drive a lot of distance driving to dallas houston whatever and bags kind of i don't know the reliability of bags kind of scare me off and you know coilovers they're not going to blow on you in the interstate i think i might end up just getting bcs and calling it a day there or kws if i can find a decent used set um let's see stock brakes which are super good on these cars. Love the brakes. Um, I'm only running, I'm only on the perch. It's basically slammed down except for that one perch at the bottom. It used to be just spring, but because I went up to a 40 series tire, it, I had to raise it up a little bit. Speaking of tires, I am on Federal 215 4018s that are decent. They're, you know, nothing too special, but I definitely do plan on getting either Super Sports or the Hankook Venice V12s if I decide to get a different tire. The Super Sports are hella expensive, but I've heard they're really good, so I might just, you know, take that leap. Rolled and pulled fenders, so these are rolled flat. I had to shave this little bumper tab to get these wheels to not rub. If you have aggressive fitting wheels in your car, definitely get this shaved down because then I don't rub anymore and it's basically flush with the tire. Up front though, I have 
a 215.30 because I was driving to Houston last week and my tire exploded on the interstate. So yeah, I had to go. It was Sunday, discount tire wasn't open, so I had to kind of make do with what they had out there. Went to a little cheap tire shop and yeah, they had a 215.35 and it does the trick now. I don't want to buy another Federal. You know, I'd rather just buy a nice set of tires sooner than later and not have to worry about replacing the Federals all the time. In the back, everything's stock, stock badging. Um, for exhaust, I have basically a full straight pipe except for the down pipe and a four and a half inch tip. So it sounds pretty good. I definitely want to get the down pipe and then I might put like a muffler on there or something because it is really, really loud now and I can only imagine when I take the other cat off that it's going to be ridiculously loud. I definitely want to get the wing extension if I can find one. I like the next mod one, but the DG, I think is what it is. I like those two, so I definitely plan on getting that. And then another thing I don't like about these cars is how much space there is in the back. Like this, this needs to get fixed. There's way too much space here. So I think I'm going to get like a diffuser and then maybe the extensions that uh, Nextmod makes if I can find those. I don't know. I, I've seen some that look good and some that don't look good. So definitely a diffuser though at some point. Inside basically just stock. Um, I have a weighted knob here because I have a TWM full replacement shifter. So it is super heavy. So shifts are really notchy and with the stock knob like it was hard to downshift a second like it's just really really heavy but i like it i actually had the stock shifter break which i don't know i've heard that's just a thing with these cars that they just it literally snapped um so i ended up just getting this instead of a a new stock one from ebay or whatever so it's pretty good i mean for the money i guess if you track your car it would be better because i mean the gear the shifts are really really precise so i like that about it but it is really heavy and it's that's my only complaint about it. I definitely want to get a new shift knob because it gets like super, super hot in the summer. Um, but overall, it's a pretty decent setup. I, I don't miss gears anymore, so that's that's definitely a nice pro. Dash, all stock. I don't like the stock steering wheel, so I'm probably going to get the cork sport wheel because I, I want to keep my airbag. Like I said, I drive long distances, so safety is a big thing. That's probably why I won't change the stock seats either because there is an airbag right there. So yeah. I'll probably just end up getting the cork sport one make it a little bit smaller um, I like the flat bottom too But they are a little bit expensive so that will have to come after Some other things I have a Cobra radar detector, which is like some little cheap target one It's it saved me a couple times so I can't complain too much But there's a lot of false alarms So I might have to upgrade that in the future if I really feel like I need to other than that though It's pretty much stock. I have my bike just chilling in here that's why hatchbacks are so great because I can just keep stuff in here and not not have to take it out. I also have down here a Cobb access port. I don't have it plugged in right now, but I'm only running a Stage 2 off the shelf map, which does the trick, but I'm definitely planning on getting a flex fuel tune sometime soon after I get the downpipe because I don't want to tune it and then have to get another tune once I get the downpipe. So once that's on and maybe a front mount too, then I'll get it tune but for right now the off-the-shelf tune works I don't I don't street race so it's it does the trick under the hood it's mostly stock I have a Cobb intake Cobb turbo inlet and just a stock intercooler I definitely do want to get a front mount but other than that it's stock I also have auto tech internals in there which I don't even really say as a mod because I always just forget that I did that but that was actually I think the first thing I did to the car and then I also have a Cobb rear motor mount under there somewhere but I do need to get the transmission mount and maybe even the passenger side mount but other than that my car is pretty much you know it's not I don't have a whole lot done to it even though two more things and it'll be fully bolted but there are a lot of, I mean it's a lot of fun the way it is right now it's not I mean it's not too crazy but I mean it definitely it's definitely quick so yeah that is my car I don't think I'm forgetting anything but um, if you have any more questions about my my build, then feel free to ask me. But yeah, like I said, over the next six months to a year, this, this thing should be pretty much transformed. Like I have a lot of plans, especially as far as like body work goes. Not body work, but like I really wanna make this car look more aggressive than it does now. Like 
it looks pretty good but it looks like like a tuned up Mazda 3. I really I really like I take a lot of inspiration from like the Subaru the STIs and stuff so I really want to just incorporate that element into this and you know maybe I might do flares I might not but if I do them they're definitely getting molded and they're not going to be crazy aggressive I don't know just just little things like that I'm not really sure what I'm going to do but it'll definitely be something cool so yeah like I said if you have any more questions just feel free to ask me um, but that's about it thank you for watching and I'll catch y'all soon peace